The ATLP60BT is a fully automatic belt drive turntable that incorporates an integral Bluetooth wireless transmitter, allowing it to connect to other audio devices utilizing Bluetooth wireless technology. The turntable utilizes the SBC codec and the A2DP Bluetooth profile compatible with Audio-Technica wireless headphones and other Bluetooth devices that use the same protocol. Additionally, the turntable provides an analog audio output with a built-in switchable preamp designed to connect directly to a stereo system, powered speakers, or other analog audio input. Before you can begin using your turntable, it needs to be set up. Carefully remove the turntable from the box and make certain that you have all of the parts and accessories. You should have the turntable with attached dust cover and factory installed cartridge stylus assembly. A die cast aluminum platter with drive belt, a slip mat, 45 RPM adapter, instruction manual, and an analog audio adapter cable. Begin by installing the platter and drive belt. Carefully place the platter on the spindle and make certain that it is fully seated. Rotate the platter by hand until the rectangular opening with the red ribbon exposes the brass motor pulley. The brass pulley is located in the upper left hand corner of the turntable, opposite the tone arm. Do not confuse the motor pulley with the white plastic post located near the tone arm. While holding the platter steady, remove the tape securing the red ribbon to the platter. The red ribbon is used to install the drive belt onto the motor pulley. Holding both ends of the ribbon, carefully slip the belt over the motor pulley. Once the belt is seated in the pulley's groove, carefully remove the ribbon and verify the belt is not twisted. Next, place a slip mat on the platter. With the tone arm still fastened to the tone arm rest, slowly rotate the platter by hand 10 times in a clockwise direction. This is to make certain that the automatic mechanism is fully cycled. Next, remove the plastic tie securing the tone arm and discard the tie. While holding the tone arm, carefully remove the plastic stylus guard by pulling it forward, being careful not to damage the stylus. With the turntable assembled, the power and audio connections can be made. First, Connect the power cord plug to a convenient AC outlet. To use the turntable with another Bluetooth receiver device, they first must be paired or registered. Pairing allows devices using Bluetooth technology to recognize and communicate with one another. Once the pairing process is complete, the devices remain paired even if they are turned off. The ATLP60BT can be paired with up to eight compatible Bluetooth devices. However, it will only communicate with one other Bluetooth device at a time. Begin by placing the other Bluetooth device close to the turntable. This is to make certain that the pairing process performs correctly. Once paired, the devices can be separated by up to 10 meters or 30 feet line of sight. Place the Bluetooth receiving device in pairing mode, which allows it to discover other Bluetooth signals. For this scenario, a powered Bluetooth speaker will be used. Pressing the pairing button on the speaker causes the associated LED to blink, indicating the speaker is ready to be paired. Locate the wireless function button on the turntable. This button is used to activate the Bluetooth transmitter and to pair the turntable with other Bluetooth receiving devices. The button illuminates and changes color during the pairing process. Make certain not to cover it completely while pressing it so that you can see the color change. Press and hold the wireless function button to begin the pairing process. While the button is pressed, it will flash purple to indicate the Bluetooth transmitter is powering on and purple a second time to indicate the turntable is entering pairing mode. After the second purple flash, release the button. The button flashes red and blue, indicating the turntable's wireless transmitter is in pairing mode. Once the turntable is successfully paired, the wireless function button will turn solid blue. The turntable will now remain paired with the speaker, even if power is turned off. When the turntable's function button flashes blue, it means the turntable's Bluetooth transmitter is active, but not paired with another Bluetooth device. Should this be the case, put the turntable back into pairing mode by first pressing the wireless function button to turn off the Bluetooth transmitter. After a moment, press and hold the wireless function button until it flashes purple and continue to press it until it flashes purple a second time, then release the button. It should now be flashing red and blue, indicating the turntable is in pairing mode. Most Bluetooth devices, including the turntable, will pair fairly quickly. If the turntable does not see the other Bluetooth device after about 30 seconds, pairing mode automatically times out and the wireless function button extinguishes. 
If either device times out while trying to pair, simply put them back into pairing mode and repeat the pairing process. Depending on the device being paired with the turntable, you may also find that it works better to place the turntable into pairing mode first, followed by the receiving device. And in some situations, previously paired Bluetooth devices can become unpaired. If this happens, simply re-perform the pairing process. When using the turntable with a paired Bluetooth device, make certain the wireless function button is lit solid blue. If not, press and hold the button for about two seconds. It will flash purple, indicating the Bluetooth transmitter is powered on, and solid blue, indicating the turntable is transmitting to a paired Bluetooth device. When the turntable is transmitting via Bluetooth, the Bluetooth receiving device is used to control volume, equalization, and other audio-related functions. The ATLP60BT can also transmit to Audio-Technica Bluetooth-enabled headphones. Simply pair the headphones to the turntable using the pairing process. In addition to the built-in Bluetooth transmitter, the ATLP60BT also provides a traditional phono output along with a built-in magnetic phono preamp providing an RIAA equalized line level output. This makes it compatible with traditional phono inputs on amplifiers and receivers along with AUGs or line level inputs on powered speakers, amplifiers, and computer analog sound cards. If your audio device has its own RIAA magnetic phono preamp, simply set the selector switch on the rear of the turntable to phono, bypassing the turntable's internal preamp. If you are connecting to an AUGS-type line-level input, powered speakers, soundbars, or analog inputs on a computer sound card, place the selector switch in the line position to use the turntable's internal phono preamp. Connect audio devices such as powered speakers directly to the turntable's 8th inch mini jack or use the included 8th inch to RCA cable to connect the turntable to RCA type phono or auxiliary inputs found on amplifiers and receivers. For more information, visit us on the web at www.audio-technica.com.